information from the, the, the Governor General, the Australian thing, the Governor General. And uh, so it, it's been a real, real thrill for me, that's for sure. Thank you. Thanks, man. All right. Thanks, man. <laughs> a little taste of Kentucky for you. That's a hell of a taste of Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's you you got a decent little shot glass there to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it all properly. Okay. okay. Well, look, this is this is going to be a really uh, terrific little ceremony. We we don't have terribly many of these. I have to no. tell you, Tommy. No, no, we uh, generally speaking, they're done by the Governor General. And because they're done by the Governor General, I have to read, well, I'm going to say some nice things about you. There's certain words that I absolutely have to read. So I shall read those first. Okay. And that says, this is how I'm supposed to do. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed my pleasure to welcome you all to this investiture ceremony. On behalf of the Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia, and at her request, it is now my privilege and pleasure to present with his insignia he who Australia, Australia has been pleased to honour. But before I commence these proceedings, I would like to first acknowledge the attendance of Air Vice Marshal Kim Osley, Head of the Australian Defence Staff in Washington, Commodore Simon Cullen, representing the Naval Attaché, Washington, Brigadier Rod West, Military Attaché in Washington, Air Commodore Gavin Davies, Air Attaché in Washington, Colonel Jeff Quirk, Chief of Staff, and as a special, uh, outbreaking all of them, but Kim is Major General Simon Willis. I should, of course, also uh, acknowledge uh, both Tommy and his friends, Troy Casadaly, Manager uh, Gina Mandela, <laughs> Jesse Sinder, Frank. Yeah. Scott Taylor and Margaret Taylor. Mm -hmm. From Kentucky. Brad Ben. Brad Ben, there he is. That's Brad. Good. You've had a, uh, a tremendous career both in Australia and here. Mm -hmm. I'm formally called the Australian Ambassador to the United States. In reality, you probably have got a better claim on that title. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you certainly are our music ambassador to the United States. There's no doubt about that. It's, oh, well, uh, I'm one of many. Yeah, yeah, we've got a few, yeah. but uh, very few have risen to make the type of contribution you. Thank you. The reason why you're being recognised here, and uh, I'm going to ask uh, uh, my aide here to read your citation, is the enormous contribution, not only your massive musical skills uh, have made to uh, people's entertainment, mm -hmm. but the, the wonderful way in which you conduct yourself, the inclusive way in which you conduct yourself and, and uh, bring people on board for, a, with a, for an affection for our country. Mm. And um, that is, uh, that compels the sort of acknowledgement that uh, this medal represents. So I'm now going to hand over to squadron leader Gary Lewis and he's going to read the formal citation. Okay. So a bit, bit of step back for him. Ladies and gentlemen, in the Australian Honour System, appointments to the Order of Australia confer recognition for outstanding achievement and service. Your Excellency, I present to you Mr. William Thomas Emmanuel, appointed a member of the Order of Australia for service to the music and entertainment industries as a guitarist and to the community as a supporter of Kids Undercover. Over the past 50 years, Mr. Emmanuel's contributions to the music industry as a guitarist have been exceptional, and his outstanding talents have been recognised through various awards. Two golden guitars at the Australian Country Music Awards, Grammy Award nominations in 1996 and again in 2006, Best Country Instrumental Album at the Nashville Music Awards in 1998, and then in Nashville again in 1999, Mr. Emmanuel received one of his highest awards by being honoured by Chet Atkins with the title of Certified Guitar Player. In addition to music, Mr. Emmanuel has supported the community through the not-for-profit organisation Kids Undercover, whose goal is to build homes and provide scholarships for homeless and at-risk young people. Mm -hmm. For his talent and his support to the community, Australia recognises Mr. Emmanuel's contribution to his country. Thank you, Your Excellency. Uh, when I pin this on, you may burst into applause. <laughs> Mm. 
Thank you.